I want to upload my as applied planting data into this account. So in order to do that, assuming I don't have JD link connect, which would automatically send it wirelessly as soon as I'm completing my field work, or if I have data sync on the go as I'm completing my field work, what I need to do is I need to navigate to my tools. I need to download the John Deere data manager. So when I click on John Deere data manager, it gives me an option to download. So I will download this. And in Google Chrome, which is recommended for Operation Center, you should see a notification pop up at the bottom here. When you click on that notification, it's going to prompt you to install this program. And in this instance, we want to allow it to make changes to our device. And we want to proceed through the setup wizard, clicking next, next, make sure it's going to the C drive or an appropriate place to install. And then at the end, ensure we select Run John Deere Data Manager. Click on Finish. Once Data Manager opens, you'll see a screen such as this that says, Hey there. And again, we need to log into My John Deere. So we'll click on this icon. And what's going to happen is it should automatically log us into the John Deere Data Manager. Now, what you might have to do is click on this link where it says open my John Deere data manager. And what's going to happen is at the bottom of the page, you'll see that icon begin flashing. So now you can see it, it identifies myself and shows log out. So that means I've now logged into my account. So at this point, what I can do is I need to tell the data manager where I'm moving data from and where I want it to go to. And so in this instance, I'm going to go browse. I've got all my data exported on the display onto a USB stick. So I'm going to navigate to this USB drive. I don't want to go any further into the file structure. Just want to select on that USB drive D or whatever drive that might be. Go select folder. And I need to select a organization for it to go to. So I'm going to put it into this Paisley Hill organization. And what I'm going to wait for here is a quick preview of my data make the screen a bit bigger if I wanted. So it's going to load anything that is on that USB stick. And so in this case, I'm just going to select everything here. Um, I'm just going to uncheck what's called our setup file. So at this point, there's a differentiation between documentation and setup. So documentation is those as applied data layers, those as applied seeding, spraying, or harvest maps, where setup is things like your guidance lines and boundaries. So let's choose everything. And we'll go upload and you'll see depending on your internet connection uh, it gives you a bit of a status update on the bottom there and can be pretty fast depending on how much data you have we just have from a small plot here on the usb and so now it's finished uploading so at this point i can close out of the john deere data manager just a quick note about many of the different display types that are compatible with the john deere data manager as we scroll through this list there's obviously compatibility with the John Deere 2600, 2630, Gen 4 command center. But there's also a lot of compatibility with egg leader displays, precision planning, Gen 1, Gen 2, and even Gen 3 displays, Raven Viper 4, uh, mini Case IH, Pro 600s, Pro 700s, some of the FM 1000s, 750s, uh, as well as the new Holland and Teleview, some Topcon displays, as well as some Trimble. And they're working on a connection to be able to have compatibility with Climate Field View data as well. So just so you're aware that many different data types can be uploaded through the John Deere Data Manager using your USB. Now I'm going to navigate back to the Operation Center. So my tab should still be open here. And what I can do is I can then go to Tools. And I can scroll through and I can find the tool called Files Manager. So when you open Files Manager, this is where it'll show a list of all the files you've uploaded. So we uploaded data from the Exeter plot and it's indicating that file processing has finished. And it also tells us the client farm field and the date that this file was uploaded. Now, if you had wireless data transfer in here, this date created would match the date you were in the field. So now, since it's finished uploading, let's navigate back to our Operation Center map, which is kind of 
considered your home page in Operation Center. And what you can do now is you can click your fields icon on the left hand side. You can navigate to that plot. And then if you go to the field analyzer, what you'll see is you can pull up now the as applied data and view those maps. So be sure to get your as applied data up into Operation Center as then we can now use all these maps on the My Operations app and do some scouting.